After watching this video, we will learn how we can create a modern type and creative transition in Filmora X or Filmora 11. Hello video editors. My name is Sali Ali and welcome to Sali Tutorials. These transitions are often used by most of the film industries and YouTubers in their videos nowadays. And I always bring something that is either new, attractive or makes the project beautiful. So in this video I will show you this transition on how you can make it in Filmora X or Filmora 11. Friends, please like the video, and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, so that you always see our great content. So let's get started. The first video is a simple video that you can use any video. The second video is something like this. And the third video is something like this. Drag and drop the video into the timeline in which you want to insert this transition. Go to Sample Colors and click on it. From here, drag and drop the black color picture into the track above the timeline. Double click on the black color picture. And adjust this picture around any object in the video. Here I will leave the door and apply black picture on the rest of the area. As I do. If you need another picture, drag and drop it too. I have a door in this video I put a black color picture around it. Now take a snapshot of it. Delete all videos and pictures from the timeline. Now drag and drop the second video to the timeline in which you want to insert this transition. Come back to the sample colors. From here drag and drop the black color picture into the track above the timeline. Adjust this black color picture on this video too. Here I will leave the road on the left side and apply black picture on the rest of the area. Sometimes you even need to rotate the picture. This is how you can rotate a picture. This is an easy way. Copy this picture to make it easier for you if you need another picture. And paste it in the track above. Then adjust the picture to the rest of the area. Now take a snapshot of it. Delete all videos and pictures from the timeline. After you do this, first drag and drop a sample video onto the timeline. And then drag and drop the video to the timeline whose snapshot you took first. And then drag and drop the video to the timeline whose snapshot you took second. Drag and drop the first snapshot into the track above the timeline. Drag and drop another snapshot into the upper track of the timeline. Now split the two snapshots at the same duration. and delete the rest. Set the duration for both pictures at least 1 or 2 seconds. Select one of these snapshots and click on the green screen tool. Select the black color in the color box inside the green screen tool. When you select black color, 
the black color area in the picture will be removed and your corresponding object will be left. And then select the second picture. Turn on the chroma key check within the green screen tool. Select black in the color box. OK. Move the first snapshot to the start of the relevant video. Place the picture between the two videos. And then transfer the second snapshot to the start of the relevant video. And place it between the two videos. Now we have to add separate animations in both the snapshots. To do this, double click on the first snapshot and go to the animation tab and click on it. And then on customize. And add a keyframe here. In this keyframe, I move the position of the object upwards through position Y according to my object. Move the playhead one second ahead of this keyframe. And here also add a keyframe. This keyframe has to be kept till the start of another video. Just reset the position in this keyframe. After moving the playhead to another snapshot picture, double click the snapshot. And you also have to add animation to the object of this picture. And I move the animation of this object through position X. Move the playhead one second ahead of this keyframe. And here also add a keyframe. This keyframe has to be kept till the start of the third video. Just reset the position in this keyframe. OK. Now we have two things to do. One is sound effect and the other will be done after sound effect. You can see that I have sound effect in media. There is a link to this sound effect in the description, you can download it for free. Sound effects are to be added in the background with animation of both objects. The last thing you need to do now is delete the extra part after the keyframe animation of the object picture. This way you can easily delete the extra part of the picture. We hope you enjoy this modern type and creative transition. I'm always working hard to make a video for you, so please like it and subscribe to the channel to see more great videos. Also visit my other YouTube channel Royal Sally. See you soon. Peace.